time for the disruptors. And Kevin Green is here, Senior Markets Correspondent, TD Ameritrade Network, to talk all about Fortinet, which has had a tough yes. August. Let's get some details from Kevin about this disruptor today, but an upgrade too. Tell us about it. Yeah, and well, Nicole, we have seen this stock move to the downside here, trading at a critical area of support, and we are seeing Guggenheim actually upgrading their price, uh, their the rating on the stock to buy from neutral with a new price target of seventy dollars. Here, they do believe that although Fortinet has faced several headwinds. Uh, they do believe that the company is not structurally impaired at this point in time, and it is competitive uh, compared to the marketplace in itself. They also believe that since the doc stock has gone down fairly significantly, a lot of the risk has really been priced in at this point in time, which is also leading another uh, reason to a potential bounce here in the stock. And they do believe that Fortinet will actually reaccelerate here in 2024 and think that the current levels offer an opportunity to begin building a position in the stock. So a very interesting note coming from Guggenheim. We did see the earnings announcement last week. Billings actually decreased by 18.5% on a year-over-year -year basis. So that really indicates a significant drop when it comes to closing deals, as well as some of their customers may be initiating shorter contract terms as they're trying to uh, navigate this economic environment. So overall, this is a uh, a significant move to the downside, seeing a slight move to the upside here today. Let's see if it's going to be able to hold. But from a technical standpoint, you don't really want to get in front of a, uh, you know, a moving bus or a moving train, if you will. But at some point, if you do see an area of support like we are seeing at around that $57 level, uh, you could also make a technical case why the stock could maybe bounce here in the near term. Yeah, I mean, when you look at this chart and see that uh, the earnings and the huge gap down after just hitting a 52 week high not long ago. How would you go about an example trade here? Yeah, that's a really good question. And Nicole, just to add on to that just really quickly, it's trading at a 29 forward PE uh, at this point. It's actually the lowest forward PE that has traded at in six years. So that also leads credence to the fundamental aspect of uh, the stock as well. And if traders believe that there could be a bounce, they could look at trying to place a bull call spread here. And I had the example traded buying the August 25th 57 calls, selling the $60 calls, doing this for a debit of $1.25. The max loss would be the amount that I pay for the uh, spread, which is $125. Max gain could be potentially $175 with a break even of $58.25. Now this is only a two week trade, so this is looking for a near term bounce in the stock. Uh, but once again, looking at some of the technical levels as well as some of the fundamental aspects of this business, uh, along with the analyst notes, you could make a case that a near-term bounce could be in play if investors are looking for a, a name in this space uh, that's trading at a discount relative to its peers. All right, Kevin Green for the disruptor today, Fortinet. Appreciate it. Thank you very much.